Hey guys, Dom Kane here for sonicacademy.com. I've put together a video series on creating techno in the style of Patrice Baumel. Uh, so the first thing I did was listen to a bunch of Patrice Baumel tracks, which is uh, not my worst day, uh, and put together some ideas. And I have created through a series of videos uh, this track that you can see in front of you right here. Uh, so I'll walk you through everything I did uh, in a moment, um, but essentially looking at things like the kicks and how those uh, kicks cut through certain parts or the sub bass and how they sort of fit together um, and how a lot of the instruments come across as percussive instruments. Um, so there's a lot more in depth that I'll go through in the main series. So if you're interested in, in following the whole course, I think it's like 10 or 11, maybe even 12 parts long. Uh, and it's available on sonicacademy.com. So the first thing you'll notice is I'm using Bitwig as my workstation. Uh, for any of you that are not familiar with Bitwig, uh, you're absolutely fine. You can, uh, I've sort of made this course uh, using nothing really Bitwig specific. So it doesn't matter if you're on Logic or Ableton or whatever it is you prefer, then uh, you should be able to follow along in exactly the same way, uh, providing you have, I guess, an arrangement screen. That's all you need. Um, so I have used also, it's worth noting, uh, I think there's all of about three or four samples in total in this track. Uh, the rest of it is made entirely using Sonic Academy's Kick 2 and Anna too. So uh, if you are a fan of Sonic Academy and a sonicacademy.com user, there's probably a good chance you've got those two VSTs. Uh, if you haven't, then where have you been? You should have those two VSTs because they're awesome. So uh, yeah, so I'll start by saying that. Uh, yeah, let's have a quick listen. And I think it's just a fairly bog standard intro with kicks and bass. So yeah, starting with the kicks, what I've done here is, I mean, self-explanatory, I've created a kick. Uh, it was quite important that if I just solo that, it was quite a sort of subby and a hollow kick, really. So there's a decent amount of depth, but very, very little click in there. Um, and then the bass line uh, over here, I've got the sub bass. And again, that's in Sonic Academy's Anna 2. Um, again, I've saved all of these presets and I've included that in the course. So again, if you head to sonicacademy.com and get the course there, then you'll get all of these parts and, and the presets to go with. Um, and it's fairly standard sub bass. But what I then did as well is using Kick 2 again, I've added in like a tom drum sound and tuned that to fit in. So that then when you listen with the kicks. And I think that was kind of an important bit. That th those three sounds really need to gel together to become almost one. So it's that sort of hypnotic, pulsating, driving element throughout the entire track. As is important with all techno really. It's, it's you know predominantly about the kicks and bass. Um, so everything else from there on in I think is really just about tuning everything together and just getting everything to sort of mold together. Um, for example, in fact, you can hear it in the intro there, this white noise. So this was using, again, using uh, some Bitwig LFOs, but again, you can use any LFO from any uh, workstation you like. Uh, what else did I do? I filtered it with a high pass filter, threw in some reverb, um, and all the LFO is doing is is adjusting the, I think, the decay time and release time of the actual white noise. Um, so again, that's something that, and I do in the video series explain, you know, you, you can do this manually if you want to. You don't, you don't need to use LFOs. I use LFOs in Bitwig because it's there right in front of me. Uh, and that's just how I do it. But you don't have to. Uh, let's have a listen to that. So 
so you can see it's just being extended by the LFO over here uh, as is the length of time of the reverb as well um, and yeah then we bring in some rides which is the first sample along with another instance of Anna 2 and that's the first uh, melody So while all that's playing, I'm also slowly introducing a sample that I've looped here uh, from Sonic Academy's uh, vocal effects pack. And that's when this main melody comes in with the hats. And you can see I've automated the decay time of these hats as well. So it's just a, a, a lot of these tracks in the in with Patrice Baumel. There's a lot of um, human element, I guess, to the instrument playing. So uh, I felt like it was important to have those hi hats. Just uh, if you imagine a, a drummer was playing on the hi hats and just slowly lifting their foot. Um, I, I felt like that was something that that needed to be in this. So. Um, the way I've done that is again using another LFO uh, and then I've applied that to the decay time of these hats just so it's just slowly sort of oscillating the decay time. And then I've got another instance of Anna 2 here. Oh, and there's an update available. So, yeah, so then I introduced this big synth basically as a, a sort of a hook sound, uh, which I've reversed as well here. So you'll hear it introduce uh, if I just play that on its own like this. And so that's the that's essentially the hook that uh, just I mean you can see how little it appears in the entire track. It's just something to sort of add uh, a new dynamic to the track, I guess. Uh, so if I play that unsoloed now. <laughs> And then with that big synth hook uh, that introduces new sound, which is another one I've done uh, using Anna 2. Uh, there are a couple of different oscillators going in there, but essentially it's all about the LFO. So I think I used the GMV in this instance, and that sounds like this. when I introduced this vocal and this new synth again. slowly just sort of builds and builds into the main breakdown which is over here all these tears, all these tears and there was literally nothing I did to these vocals other than adding in a little bit of delay and reverb all 
about that big low down and dirty drop um and yeah and that's essentially the main crux of the track i won't go into uh, any more detail from there i don't think uh, the rest of it is things like using crashes as effects and more snares and just just at trickling in delays into snares and things to just add uh, a bit more groove to the track um and then making everything sort of fit snugly together um so yeah so all the sound design i go in from scratch with initialized patches on uh, anna 2 and kick 2 uh, it's all in the whole course on sonicacademy.com go and check it out uh, if you like this music then uh, give this video a thumbs up as well i'll see you soon cheers Thanks everyone for watching, we really appreciate all the support from you guys. If you love this video then smash a like and if you want to be notified about new videos hit the subscribe and notification buttons. PEACE!